Hey, Battle Bill here with another video, and today we're getting another spice set from the Twitch stream. These come so often because Twitch stream just stays goaded. They keep on hitting that bit goal on the bottom right. And we have the team comp on the bottom right. This spice option that we're going with today is some Dusclops safe swap spice. Dusclops is quite the bulky Pokemon. The move set you want on, want on it for Great League is Hex Quick Move and then Charge Rooms of Shadow Punch and Ice Punch. And we decided to cover it with Chestnut in the lead and Galarian Sunfist in the back to try to cover its dark weakness. Chestnut being the fighter, and Galarian Sunfish is being a pretty meta Pokemon that's a beast against a lot of things. But again, sometimes you gotta balance that spice with the meta, and I'm just excited to see how well Dusclops can perform in this role for a set of battles. So, if you're excited for the spice, as always, because whenever it comes from this Twitch stream, it is some of the spiciest spice, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. It really goes a long way in supporting the channel, and it's free, and it's greatly appreciated. So let's get into these battles. Let's see how Dusclops is going to do. I don't have any expectations for it. So let's hope we can pull at least one win. <laughs> the plan's going to be, unless Chestnut's win and lead hard, probably. Oof. Oof. Super power and dip. Can this be Powder Snow? Can this be Powder Snow? Can this be Powder Snow? Can this be... Of course it's not Powder Snow. Why, 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 why would it be Powder Snow? We're going to super power and dip. We're going to super power and dip. This will still hurt, right? Right? Not a great lead. Usually Niantic hooks me up when I do these spice sets. And they give me some really nice leads. All right, Dusclops. We got Hex on it. Oh, beautiful. Oof. You just, you love, you love to see it. You love to see it. <clears throat> All right, great. First match, really off to an amazing start. These ice punches are going to literally do no damage. So we do, yo, I, pff, these are cheap moves. Hex buff, it gets these moves really quick. I will say that much. And Dusclops is quite bulky. So it's not like I'm going to get completely snarled down or anything like that. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to not shield anything. It's going to have to throw a move to take me out. Super effective foul play, honestly. That didn't look very super effective. No, I'm just kidding. It did look super effective. But Umbreon has low attack. And again, Dusclops is a bulky beast. And it's spammy. But similarly to Umbreon, its moves aren't hitting that hard either. But let's see if they commit to the snarl down. Oh, they didn't. Nice, nice, nice. Hype, hype, hype. So, hmm. The question is, can Galarian Stunfist clutch this match out? Because Dusclops wasn't really given a chance for success. It just got absolutely positively walled here. Hmm. Do I even want to shield this? Honestly, there's no point. If they, yeah, let them last resort me. Oh, they didn't even take me out. That's awkward. Let's swap. Coming into G Fisk. <laughs> All right, great first match. Great first match. You'll, that's exactly how I drew it up. Let's lose a lead, lose a swap. Ed gets slaughtered on the closing mon. Anyhow, that'll stay in the video, but let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Mr. Tinies, let's get into this next one. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully um, we don't get wrecked anywhere near as hard in the remainder of this set. Oh my Lord. Okay. At least here I can throw a superpower, right? That's a positive. They're going to get off a weather ball probably at the same time. And we're going to CMP tie. Do I win CMP? Why do I feel like that? I definitely don't win CMP. They might be waiting for my superpower to like throw. But like I'm just going to swap. It was CMP. It was CMP. That makes sense. All right. We can both shields. So let's get into Dust Clops after. Because we don't want to take any more damage. Let's see what they... Oh my god. I guess we go Shadow Punch here. Because it's neutral, right? And I get Stab on it. Whereas with Ice Punch, it'd be neutral and I don't get Stab on it. Oh my god, that does nothing. I do get them off really quickly. <sighs> What's with everybody in their Dark Types? I have not seen this many Dark Types. <laughs> but now that I run Dusclops. Hmm. Being sus Niantic. I'm just kidding. Oh, they do have a return. Any chance you want to return me? Come on. Bad manners me. Throw the return. I triple doggy dare you. Any chance I can survive a foul play? <sighs> That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, they're going to have to return the chestnut. So I'm going to come back in the chestnut here. Again, I'm going to need G Fist to kind of clutch this. You know what I might do? I might just completely vine with it now. They formed up a bunch against my dust clubs. This could easily be 
a return. And it is a return, so I'm going to Vine Whip down now. They're going to come back in with Obama Snow. We're going to Super Power and dip again. I do like the concept of using Chestnut as a lead and constantly Super Powering and dipping. Because at least it has a move to like, deal with its weaknesses. Let's get the G-Fisk. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how hard are we going to get countered on their last Pokemon? Huh. Okay. Any play here? Mm-hmm. Am I able to get to a rock side before this Obama Snow weather balls the hell out of me? I wonder if it energy balls me. Yep, it does energy ball me, because, you know, why not go for the defense debuff? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, lovely. I didn't even swap earlier. Yo, home, home slice, Henry, my man. Right in the middle of us uh, recording a spice set for the YouTube. Coming through from another fellow YouTuber with the rate of 60. Dude, extremely appreciated. Shout out to home slice, Henry. His stream, he streams on YouTube. Puts out consistent, amazing content on YouTube. Mad love for him. If you're not checking him out on YouTube, everybody in Twitch chat, everybody's going to see this on YouTube. Highly recommend it. I'm going to even throw his link in the description of this video after I get slaughtered for this video <laughs> no that's unfortunate oh we had an ice beam tier couldn't get to the energy ball in time first two matches not off to the most ideal start but henry thank you so much again for the raid man really appreciate it how is your stream how are your battles how are you liking the beginning of great league i know you've been test you be testing a bunch of spice what have you been messing with hope i can find another match there we go little buster so can i find any situations for my dust clops to have some success the question is in great league are there really any situations for my dust clops to have success great 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 these leads are off to an amazing start i really should have swapped faster i was like processing the fact that i'm gonna get slaughtered no return i do not have a, a purified dust clops unfortunately I let this come through just because, yeah, I didn't really see it doing too much damage. That's a questionable swap, and I will take it. I will take it. All right, Dusclops with a chance for some success. So the Ice Punch is what hurt the Altaria, so I really should have gotten the Dusclops immediately. But they came into something where, you know, these Ice Punches are going to be hurting the Meganium, and I'm getting them off pretty quickly. Got to about two, not two in the time they got to the Frenzy Play, because they stayed in with the Altaria for a bit. If I could flip switch here, I feel like I can. I definitely outpace it. And these ice punches are doing quite a bit of damage. Well, we're going to try our best to flip switch. That's the goal. I wonder if, like, the play should be to bait with the shadow punch. Hmm. Let's see. I really need these ice punches to do a little bit more damage than that. That's the unfortunate part. Hmm. I wonder... I'm gonna shield this and hex down. I think I can I think I can do that. I think I can do that. It's pretty low. Come on, Dust Clubs. Let's go, Dust Clubs. Clutch shit. Are they quitting? What just happened? What was that? Come on, man. Don't ruin a perfectly good YouTube video situation. Why'd you, why'd you stop attacking? <laughs> Did they do that on purpose? Because they wanted more farm for their Altaria? That kinda makes sense. I mean I'm I don't know, man. People be wild. Alright. The good news is I flipped switch. I was going to farm down regardless. They definitely weren't getting to another frenzy plant in time. So we'll definitely take that. The question becomes, what's our last Pokemon? And can Chestnut... What was... What? What was that undercharge? Oh, and they quit. Look at that. Dusclops, flip switch, cause the rage, rage quit. We take that. One and two. That I mean, honestly, that was because of Dusclops. So that's pretty solid. Really great matchup against uh, the Meganium there. And forcing the Altaria out into the Meganium, which was interesting just because of the fact I have an Ice, I have ice Punch on, on Dust Clops. Yo, D-Smooth with a seven-month seven resub. I appreciate you, man. Let's see if we can run some more positive situations. Ooh, all right. Positive lead here. We won the lead. You love to see it. We also lost that last lead, which is pretty, pretty clutch. Oh, my God. Those Vine Whips do so much damage. Oh my god. Yo, Kazaroni and Cheese, thank you for the follow. That was doing so much damage. This is only a body slam, right? I can let this come through. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double superpower. And then. 
I don't know what I want to do. Oh, thank you for the follow. Siri, and appreciate it. Okay, double superpower. I think they double shield. Go in the dust clops? I think I go in the dust clops. So I'll resist the counters and everything, and I can at least throw ice punches at it. It's going to be a weird matchup because we're going to both be dealing double resisted damage to one another. But me having ice punches is pretty clutch. So let's just get both their shields. Oh, nope, never mind. Actually, hold up. Mm, I should have swapped. I should have swapped. I should have swapped. That was a misplay on my part. That was a misplay on my part. I mean, I might as well hex it down now, right? I guess. I mean, not hex it down. Fine, whip it down. I countered it so much damage. Oh, but I'm double debuffed. I should have swapped out. I'm... Okay, hold up. I did that on purpose. Because I don't want to get my G-Fist locked in against the um, Swamper. And I'm hoping they'll swap. I definitely stayed in way too long against that... Um against that Vigoroth. I'm really hoping they'll swap. Can you go back into Swampert, please? That'd be great. I mean, yeah, Swampert. Yep. Please do that. Please do that. It's only a Sky Attack, right? Okay. Swap back into Swampert, please. Please and thank you. You want to keep it away from the Chestnut, right? 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 Those Vine Whips are doing hella damage. We can at least spam these Shadow Punches. The Hexes are slowly adding up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Swap. Thank you. Because now I can line up the Skarmory with the G-Fisk. Beautiful. And maybe I can get this thing low enough where Chestnut can actually Vine Whip it down. Look at Dusclops. Spamming its way to success. Hex is crazy these days. Alright, that works. We'll take that. Kind of. Maybe. Sort of. I resist those Mud Shots, right? Maybe I can get enough Vine Whips. Yeah, my health is way too low. Oh, they just swap, so you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chestnut being a beast. Alright, this is GG's. You love to see it. Dusclops did its job, but Chestnut definitely carried this match. But again, Dusclops did something. It did something. It was spammy against Skarmory. GG's. Chestnut is a Skarmory counter confirmed. Can I get that in chat? Can I get that in the comment section? Chestnut is a Skarmory counter confirmed. And we're 2-0. 2-2-0. Oh. I wish we were 2-0. Oh. We're 2-2. Two two. We're 2-2. Two two. We take that. And Dusclops has done some work i like its bulk a lot i like that it it i guess it has a uniqueness i feel like a lot of pokemon in great league are just all glass cannons whereas dusclops has that bulk and spamminess i like that it fits that prototype okay another positive lead here but i never play it out properly so I like i don't play it out often i assume i just go straight energy ball and i should be fine here right but you know what happens when you assume I'm not going to finish that. But anyhow, we're going to throw this energy ball. We're going to get a shield. We're going to land it on the Azu. I'm probably just going to shield their Ice Beam and completely Vine Whip down. I would love they didn't have Ice Beam. Oh, no. If they had Play Rough, that'd be super effective, too. So never mind. We're going to Vine Whip all the way down. I should be counting bubbles to know if this is safe or not. But you know Battle Bill. Battle Bill doesn't count. I'm not a math teacher or anything. Math teacher doesn't count. Stupid teacher confirms. I'm kidding. Uh, okay. Metacham. We'll go with the uh, energy ball here. We'll stay in this matchup. Ooh, Dusclops can put in work. Ooh, look at this. A nice situation for Dusclops. Maybe three and two confirmed. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We're going to try our darndest. We're going to try our darndest. We're going to get off another energy ball. Ooh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Probably force a shield at this point. They can't let Chestnut take out two of its Pokemon. Two of their Pokemon. Nice, and it was a CMP tie. Apparently, Chestnut wins CMP over Medicham. Good information to have. Dynamic punch, okay. Wow, it didn't take us out. That's an XL Medicham, too. Beautiful Medicham counter right here. Oh, I should actually ice punch. But it's okay. We'll soften up the shift tree with uh, Galarian Stunfisk. And then we'll ice punch it, and Dust Clops is going to clutch out this match. Even though shift tree's a dark type. I don't really see them being able to overfarm too much against my G Fisk here. I wonder if they just let their shift tree go down so that they can try and farm up my um farm up my uh ba -ba 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 -ba, my G Fisk. But I don't think that'll even work. And they're gonna need a lot. They're gonna yeah, and this this leaf blade's gonna do too much damage where they're not gonna get any real farm. Yeah. Beautiful. So we either get the shield or we take out the shift tree. We probably take out the shift tree. But then again, shift trees are only real answer against 
the dust clops, so yeah, that made sense too. But they can't snarl me down, they have to throw. That's that's the issue here. Because I was gonna say, like, let Metacham come in, get a tiny bit of farm, and like land psychics on my dust clops. If they were even running that. They were running dynamic punch. Okay. I mean, that's cool and all. I'll shield. I'm not really worried about any of Metacham's moves. So. Oh, the Leaf Blade baited me. Get the baited bills in chat. It wouldn't be a battle bill set if he didn't get baited, you know? You know. You know the vibes. Either way, we taking this dub. Ice punch on the shift tree. It's got to take it out. Shift tree's glassy. What just happened? They just quit? Oh, that was weird. Ice punch on the shift tree. Shadow punch on the Metacham. You love to see it. A positive set that started off terribly. Right, we got hard countered real bad in the first two matches. The next match... We actually lost lead hard. Dusclops came in clutch there. The fourth match, Chestnut went off, but Dusclops did a little bit. And then Dusclops closed out a match in the fifth one. And we had a 3-2 set running some spice. That's always way above expectations when it comes to test now a spice mod. Ooh, and a meta cham reward. That's pretty hype. It's cool to see. Give me those XLs. I still need to make my own XL meta cham. I did not grind the meta tights while they were here, and that was completely my fault. But I gotta say, for a Spice Pokemon, I'm relatively impressed. I think you definitely want the Shadow over the regular Dusclops. I just don't have one. So you could do that additional damage. Three and two. Taking that journey to rank 13. But overall, I like the spamminess. I love because of the Hex buff that it gets off Shadow Punch and Ice Punch ridiculously fast. And it has uh, coverage with Shadow Punch and Ice Punch. So... Not a terrible spice Pokemon. I think I can recommend you testing it out. This team of three went pretty well for it. But on that note, let me know what you thought of the battles. Let me know what you thought of the team. Let me know what you thought of Dusclops. And please, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really goes a long way. It's extremely appreciated. And I will see you all in the next.